Hello everyone, my name is Sujan Kumar Bey. I am studying in 9th standard in C International School. Today I am going to speak about the topic, the functions of skeleton and the different types of joint present in the skeleton system using the help of models. First, let me tell the functions of skeleton system. Skeleton system, uh, it gives us a definite shape and support to our body. Just imagine your hand without no bones. You will not be able to lift a single pen and you will, your hand will look very irregular. Some of the delicate the organs are protected by the bones, such as the lungs are protected by the rib cage. This, uh, the brain is protected by the skull and the backbone, uh, the spinal cord is protected by the backbone. The, the bones are joined in such a way that one bone can be moved on another bone. The white blood cells and red blood cells are uh, formed in the center or central part of the tissue which is present in the band. bone marrow which is only present in long bones such as femur. Bones are the storehouse of calcium and phosphorus. Joints. There are three types of joints. Immovable joints, partially movable joints, freely movable joints. Immovable joints are the joints which are not able to be moved and they are present in the skull. Skull has total eight parts of bones which are joined to each other and they cannot be moved. Partially movable joints are the joints which are present in our rib, rib, ribs and in our vertebrae. These can move these can move very slightly. Freely movable joints, there are four types of freely movable joints: ball and socket joint, gliding joint, pin joint, pivot joint, ball and socket joint. In a ball and socket joint, there is a ball and a socket which are joined together and they can move anyhow, front, back, right, left, and in 360 degree and 180 degree. Then and uh, ball and socket joints are present in our shoulder and in our hip region. The next one is the gliding joint. Gliding joint glide against each other to make the movement possible. They are present in our wrist region and in between our fingers. Hinge joint. Hinge joint moves front and back. These joints are present in our elbow region and in our knee region. Next one is the pivot joint. Pivot joint is present in our neck region and they can move right, left, front and back. So this was an uh, explanation about the functions of skeleton system and the different types of joints present in the skeleton system. Thank you.